so welcome back vikings and this is the final uh, animation or video whatever uh for you to have a, a fully working wiking um of course you had you need to add some controllers but uh, for the mechanical part uh this is it and it's gonna be a few more i'm gonna talk about maybe some upgrades some controllers and uh, whatever um you can leave me a comment for what you would like to know i know many of you are starting to build this guy now it's not the easiest one but uh, you will get a very good printer so yeah let's uh, i've already imported the parts we are going to do today so with the worm gear brackets and of course the rod for transferring to the other side and then then there's the rod support so those are the parts for today it's going to be about 10 minutes i think let's try to do it uh, quick so these are the parts for the worm gear brackets or the worm gear yeah and let's go to cura and let's do them one more time so go to the standard standard SDL files and go to worm gear and worm gear bracket and then you want the worm gear anchor M for motor side there are two different motor and no, belt anchors so just flip the worm gear bracket on its back like this and then the anchor point on its side like this and slice it then you should print these ones with no support i hope the sound is okay now i also have some sound issues i know okay so on the anchor point we have a thin wall you need to cut this away you need to have thin wall activated in your slicer and print this yellow and cut it away afterwards okay then let's look at the assembly first of all add the pinion for the worm gear to the motor to the nema and then slide those inside add the m m3 by 8 screws like this and uh, then you can add this m5 and then slide the the anchor point inside like this and then you can add this guy you need to do all this on the frame so what i'm doing now you do on the frame okay and then uh, th there are some m3s for securing the belt like that and then you need to have the rod inside or some long m3 uh, m5 by 60 or something to add the bearings and stuff um let's just let me just talk about this um this nut uh this nut is not uh, important um at the start of the process i had a threaded rod you don't need a threaded rod if you have a thre threaded rod then you can use these nuts if you have a smooth rod like i do you don't need those so let's go to the bearings let's slide the bearings inside those are important of course and uh, on the in, in touch of the bearing you need some shims there is a shim and then there are the motor pulley so of course do this on the rod or on a, M, a long m5 so the motor pulley and then the worm gear like this i have a spacer in between you don't need this spacer because uh, these uh, pulleys and and the gear they they uh, uh, you uh, you have a grub screw for for the rod so that's fine 
but you do need a spacer in between the worm gear and the bearing because or else the bearing can fall out so put something in between here it could be a m6 uh, or m5 uh, nuts of some sort just some spacer in between i think that spacer should be in the optional files as well yeah so um, then you're fine and you have the assembly so let's also do the the road side so again let's just print those very quick to just repetition is never is always good with repetition so worm gear road support one of those and belt anchor R one of those okay flip it on its back like this and this one on its side like this and slice three perimeters 30% in fill and uh, again there's a um, thin wall you need to cut that away and print yeah so again you add the m5 like this and then you slide this one inside misclick slide that one inside add the m5 do it in place again on the frame you do this on the frame and then the bearings and there's a shim and then the motor pulley of course you need to do this on to the rod and let's do the m3s for uh, securing the belts you might actually not have this lid this lid is just uh, yeah I can add that to the standard parts files as well so again uh, this uh, nut you don't need if you have a smooth rod if you have a threaded rod then you can use it but the motor pulley will keep the rod in place so that's uh, the rod support and the berm gear brackets and the assembly so let's place this motor bracket uh, in, the, in the correct spot because that's important that uh, these brackets line up with the rest of the C lift okay so we need to know where to place this bracket so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna measure it for you so from the back of the bracket to the outside of the frame should be 241 so 241 millimeter from the outside of the frame to the back side of the brackets 341 millimeter so make a note and the other side is not the same so for the rod support the back side of the rod support to the outer frame is 244 okay so make a note again make a note you cannot remember this stuff so make a note okay did you make a note make a note okay and then when you got all this together you have a weaking so now we have a weaking it's very exciting and I'm sure there are some questions because this is not a not the easiest assembly not the easiest printer to build so just contact me and I will answer anything you want to about and uh, in the next uh, videos we're gonna talk about controllers and probably maybe also some upgrades but uh, as of now this is it you have a wiking so let me know what you what you think okay so happy building and have a have a nice day